bits and bits of damage where it can. It'll be hard for Tennels to approach. For sure. Ooh. Good Nair. Je uh, grab, and then to up air. Don't have any hope. I was going to say, no damage on Tannehill. I wanted to say that Sheik would have a better air game against Rob, but, you know, Rob's um, mid box. It's, it's just Rob's him. gigantic, yeah. and he's pretty heavy, so I can just see, like, I don't know, him getting an F tilt or fair and just carrying him to the other side of the stage, getting, like, 30%. But he hasn't uh, gotten much out of his uh, neutral wins. Oh, and that was a great read. Just raw bouncing fish. Hits him. Oh, and goes for. Oh, and he. This is looking sloppy, but. <laughs> just ra raw up smash and no punish. And there's the. Ra oh, okay. He goes for up air instead of the. Uh, there, a down. Up throw. Instead of down throw to possibly. Wow. The up air, but that. Uh, yeah. Platform assists in there. That's going to do it. That, uh, Jay back on stage. That's uh, not quite gonna do it. No rage, and that move's not the strongest. The Tannels can keep him at bay with the uh, yeah. and the gyro. Yeah, he just doesn't want to get. Take this dog. I mean, he can do small things like that, like a quick yeah, confirm okay. into a good amount of damage, and that's gonna goes so far for him because he already has the stock lead. Uh, He's got a really good lead. Right yeah. Now. And this is kind of this game, you know, get that stock lead <laughs> and just tack on that percent. It doesn't matter if it was close first stock, but okay. Good up smash. With a 79% lead yeah. though. Yeah. Tant was good. Tant was fishing a little bit too hard there. You know what though? I think it may have been worth getting that much damage. Oh, definitely. I'll take 79% on a Sheik all day. <laughs> Um, so now it's just like a little bit of damage on this stage. I feel like up throw up air is confirmed and will just kill. Like probably even now. Oh, Sheik. Yeah, Sheik. <laughs> Too low to the ground to be hit by that up smash. Definitely would have done it though. And uh, vanishes right on the stage. Not even, not even going for the ledge. Okay, and uh, nope. He wants it. <laughs> yeah. And like, I guess a character like Sheik, I kind of hate this situation where you just have like this lead and then it's just kind of dwindling every time they get a hit. Oh, heck More yeah. and more. And that... Camping. Oh, that wow. will do it. Okay. Yeah. I did not expect that to kill. Me neither. Questionable DI, maybe. <laughs> I know, but... Uh, up, up. Uh, up throw. I don't know Rob's throws. They all look kind of similar, but up throw. In the past, I have never seen it kill without like a platform assist till like 150. Yeah, so that he, surprised me. When he started, I was like, oh, that's not going to kill. He doesn't have the yeah. platform there, but. Maybe it was just really fresh. I don't know. But we're back at uh, Town and City. Okay, Jay rolling his way through. This should be a good amount of damage. Yeah. 24, not bad. He's trying to get the lead in this match. Yeah. I think last match he was being a little too careful. Mm -hmm. It might be a um, matchup experience. And the thing about Sheik is like, she doesn't do, her damage output is not that good. It's actually pretty bad compared to other characters. Yeah. The thing is, they just string together so well yeah. that like one neutral uh, win gets you like 25%, 30% every time. And that adds up so quickly. But the accuracy in playing those combos, you know. Yeah. You gotta know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But right now he's got a good lead and the top confirms him into the bouncing fish. Pretty sure that put him out of lag and then he was just able to do it. And that is oh, not that quite cool. gonna do it. Okay. Channel is having trouble getting yeah. back on stage. He's going off stage. Um, I don't necessarily agree with what Jay is doing. Every time he has him off stage, he's going out chasing him with Bouncing Fish. 
And it's like you don't need to risk that with such a big percent lead. Yeah. Just uh, keep winning neutral, take that stock. Tano's finally back on stage. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's got like a good amount of damage that he could potentially take the first stock, even after, you know, taking. Be Rob, of course, has range. Being at a disadvantage for so long, but. Um, <laughs> He's just stalling off stage. And that's gonna do it. And he gets the balloon in the process, too. And that style point. Yeah. Making up for game one. Uh huh. And like, Jay is kind of. I don't know, I feel like he's not getting as much reward as he could out of like all the times he's uh, winning neutral in his tent. And that does it. Dang, that is such a strong move. Not too much of a lead. Yeah, not so much of a lead anymore. Um, well, I guess quick 17 up right there. <laughs> but, um, okay, so gets a good couple of confirms and now it's pretty close to even. Uh, 40% to 58. Jay, um, I don't know. I just feel like he might be a little too conservative. I feel like in this matchup, Rob cannot do much if you're just constantly going at his oh, shield. Oh, yeah, if you barrage him. Yeah, just hit him with away. those mix-ups. And um, I don't know. Needles? We're not seeing many needles. I'm seeing charge him. Not seeing him... Okay, and he, that was a great read. Reads the uh, bouncing fish up there. That's it. That was unexpected. Yeah. But nice. But antenna